the NRA convention was in uh, the Dallas area. It was in Irving, which is where our studios are located, over the weekend. President spoke. The vice president spoke. And there was an interesting little uh, get-together outside of the event. <laughs> and Alyssa M- Milano showed up yesterday. Uh, take a look at the video of somebody who uh, was talking to her bodyguards who were there. Here's what happened. That would be great. Would you come on NRA TV and bridge us about if, you're, if you're have, more than welcome. Time, we would my, love to my, have you. My time. Sure. I'm all done again. You bet. Okay, this is his... Grant, Grant Stinchfield would love to second. talk to you, Alyssa. He would. Okay, you can see the bulge of the guy's gun there. Oh, what is the bodyguard of Alyssa Milano doing? I thought he would be carrying mm-hmm. absolutely nothing at all, just his hands. Yeah. There's the... Uh, yeah, the other one is what I was talking about, um, where the guy is kind of yelling at the bodyguards and they're pushing him back toward the sidewalk. Uh, here's what happened there. Okay, you can hear her, I think, in the background, right? Or somebody is speaking in the background. You cannot because you got a gun. I'm going to ask you to leave. Okay. But I'm going to ask you to leave. You can ask me all you want. I'm not leaving. You already told him that. He's going back. Hey, I'm leaving. I'm asking you to leave. How far do I have to go before I need you on the sidewalk? The sidewalk. Yes, sir. Okay. Hypocrite. Alyssa, you're a hypocrite. But you are armed. You have armed security here. You are armed. You have armed security here. Yeah. Armed? Security, by the way, that has no jurisdiction over this guy. Mm-hmm. This guy's under no obligation to back up because this stupid ass tells him to. <laughs> what are you kidding me? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm an American citizen. I have every right to be here just like these other people. And what are you going to do about it? Are, are, are you going to hit a private citizen? You being a private citizen? Just a security guy from Alyssa, Alyssa Milano? Sorry, it doesn't work that way. That guy's got no authority either is he gonna over fla- anybody there. Is he going to flash his weapon? I don't know. That you shouldn't have, apparently? That is unbelievable. I, I First of all, the hypocrisy so, yes. of Alyssa Milano. It's okay for her. Bringing gun-toting bodyguards to this event. An anti-gun rally. To an anti-gun rally. Well, telling us we can't have guns, but her life is worth more than ours, apparently. Hmm. Oh, clearly. Hmm. Clearly. I, I have no idea how they justify that stuff. And how they, do you how, how do you think? Yeah, I've got these two, yeah, th- big thugs with me with with guns in their in their holsters, sidearms, and I'm yelling about people not being able to have guns that you shouldn't be able to you shouldn't be allowed to ha- own a gun. How can, how do you get away with that? They don't care to just, they don't feel like they have to, so they don't. What an upside down world. And then obviously, Melissa Milano, this, the first video actually took place after the one we just showed you. So you invert that. She came over and, and tried to talk to him, I guess. Uh, it, it didn't seem to say much and then left. Uh, but it's interesting because, first of all, those security guards, they can't tell you what to do. They can't back you up to the sidewalk and tell you, "I want you at the sidewalk." Well, I don't care where you want me. Look like he was I don't care on where the you sidewalk want me. already. Yeah, I. Why do all these other people have any more right than I do? They don't. That's the answer. You're Alyssa Milano's bodyguard. You're not Dallas police. You're not Irving police. You're not from the sheriff's department. You're not from the FBI. Get out of my face. Period. And the hypocrisy. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) Seriously, you can't get your mind around the unbelievable hypocrisy. Yeah, there you go, trying to make sense of the world again, Pat. (sighs) Wow. (laughs) Uh, Nice job by Will Haraway, who is an NRA member, uh, getting up there and getting in their faces and being bold enough to say, Hey, uh, what about the hypocrisy? You two guys here for her, and you're armed. And she's screaming that nobody else should be able to be armed. So, (laughs) American citizens can't be armed, but we should have the ability to hire armed security to be with us 24 hours a a day. Okay. All right. 
right, well, it's perfect. Perfect. She's better than you, Pat. You understand that? <laughs> well, she could afford armed security wherever she goes, apparently, right? And uh, I certainly can. Uh, if that had been somebody protecting Glenn at an event, backing somebody up like that against the wall, telling him, yeah, I need you at the sidewalk. I need you back at the sidewalk. That would be a lead story all over the media. Totally and completely. And Glenn would be excoriated for allowing that to happen. Mm -hmm. How dare you try to claim authority over all of these people who are here protesting? How dare you? But Alyssa Milano? No, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, some of the uh, protesters there had signs like, I will change the world, will you help me? No other family should ever have to experience my nightmare. Not one more gun death. Not one more broken-hearted family. Not one more. Okay, and you're going to prevent that how exactly? Toughest gun laws in the nation in Chicago, Illinois. You know how many shootings they had in the last weekend? Zero, probably. 75. Whoa. 75 shootings. Five people dead, several in critical condition. 75 people were shot in the last few days in Chicago, Illinois, where they have the toughest gun laws in the country. Not one more. Okay. I mean... It's great, but how do you accomplish it? So this uh, anti-Second Amendment group screaming at this protest, the best way to defeat the NRA is to vote for candidates who don't take their money, register to vote here. So they had people registering to vote. uh, And interestingly, (laughs) the people are registering to vote don't care at all that Alyssa Milano has armed guards with her. <laughs> I, I I just I don't I don't understand it.